Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Hey, Dojima. Hey, Dojima-san. You ever had a spring cold? Not really. It's not good. I've had a headache for the last month or so, if that matters. Really should have that taken care of. Probably. I like how you ask for permission. Eh, well, two days yeah. of sun is two days of sun. And rain. I can live with rain. Dang. It's just nothing good to eat. Eh, might as well sleep for the night. And on to Friday. What the fuck? Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Hello, and goodbye. goodbye. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Poor girl. You need somebody else in the house. Can always hear girls. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. I'm not supposed to be a mean remark. I'm just saying people you live gossip. by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Totally. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How That's else Black are we Rose. supposed to get the juicy stories? Oh, it is. <laughs> Ah, oh, I finally got one. Another incident? After how many days? What, three days? Hmm. Not exactly happened. having the most luck here, are we? Yeah, that was like first time we came to town. I think we are the murderers. <laughs> hey, did you see it yesterday? She on her phone. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. So it's not just us using the Midnight Channel, apparently. Hmm. Huh. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. Who's that sharp dressed man? I wonder on the why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Top right corner. I suppose hey, we'll see more, wrong, of his, more than his feet soon enough. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. That's an awesome beer. First, the principal has something to say. Very traditional clothing. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Oh my god, they're canceling Pizza Thursday. One of our third year students. Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3 has passed away. What? Passed away? We just talked to her yesterday. <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Here? All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? That is a very good question at this point. 
So that's two people now that have died in all of four three, days. Three days. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Also very connective -y. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. The crap do they get it's up there? It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Ooh. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. That's right, we never did find out what actually caused the death hmm. of the announcer. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Yes. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. I did once and then my TV ate me. But I don't the think media's it's been time broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop, so maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh, it's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Nope. We were snoring. Yosuke, not you too. I was sick. Yeah. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen is Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? I do actually remember hearing that at one time. Maybe it was Chie who was saying how... Yeah, I think Chie said that. Yeah, that she had heard a bunch of people kind of... Talking about that, and they, she said that one of the kids said that the announcer was his soulmate. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying... people who appear on that TV die? Kinda looks like it. Yeah, I don't see... It's a pretty strong connection. I can't say for sure. But something tells me just can't dismiss it as coincidence. It's I mean, way granted, too coincidental to be a coincidence. I mean, granted, there's only... It's only happened twice now, but... It's such strange circumstances that... Yeah, these are odd enough events. The, this stuff doesn't happen every day. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? And he also said somebody was throwing t people in there. It also said... That someone's been throwing people in there. I should not talk before they talk, should I? In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Oh yeah. Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? It's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. I'd call it preposterous, but it's just way too weird to not be connected in some way. Yeah. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me... Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Hopefully this time he'll go to the bathroom first. <laughs> d d don't do this. You should just let the police handle this. And yeah, like the police are going to believe 
Don't you think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. It's kind of hard to make progress when you have no freaking clue at all. And when it ha Besides, apparently has something to do with a world inside of a TV. TV. There's no way yeah, they're gonna believe us. that easy. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. I wonder why they capitalized the S in Senpai. Hmm. I guess he's using it as an as a name. <gasps> Yosuke. A title. Hmm. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Well, I just gotta find that bear again. What should we do? And hope we're that lucky. Hmm. What do you think? Should hmm. we go with Yosuke, stop him, or let Chie decide? He's determined to go in one way or the other. He's gonna have some problems, so... I'd go with him. I'll go with him, then. Uh, you, you serious? It's best he not go alone in that world anyway. Yeah. Well, I think you have to let him in anyway, but then... Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Well, now, doesn't he just look ridiculous? You guys came! Ooh, we're going golfing. Heck yeah! We came to stop you, what is idiot! With you in golf? I don't know. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I wouldn't say I should talk, but you know, I like tennis. At least that puts more exercise in you. I know. You. Hmm. We were able to come back once, right? And you know, it's not for old men. Are you secretly old? If we go in from not the same location, know of. maybe we'll meet that bear again. Sound logic for a place that's made maybe of weird. Maybe isn't yeah. good enough. That was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Did you just walk away? Maybe. That's yet another one of the ones that you had to... If you wanted the stat boost, that's the one you had to choose. Yeah. It'll be just you and me. Well, that's good. Don't worry. I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A, a rope? A rope doesn't look very long. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. I Are we on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Here. This is for you. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Yeah, you never know what medicine's gonna do for you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. That sounds like a quote hey, to you. I said wait! Don't let go of the rope. There's, there's, uh, you have to burn the rope. No, something different. It's very Space Channel 5-ish. I know. It's really weird. So it doesn't look awkward at all. Why is there a rope going into a TV? Why is there a rope not going into the TV? That isn't good. See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Also, did anyone else enjoy the cartoonish pulling sound? <laughs> now what? Just wait. And pray they get out, I suppose. Well, the bear helped them once, you never know. Well, they have to find him again. Uh, uh, again on the keys. <laughs> 
We're gonna have to put pillows here now. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. Probably best if he checked his lifeline. Hey, you guys! Alright! come back? Yay! We got a trip back. I get it! You're the ones behind this! If he agrees to help us. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a problem. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. Yeah, we threw ourselves in, but... You know, yeah, I don't think that counts. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. I have to say real quick, just look at the bo the floor here. It doesn't look like those old chalk outlines. Yeah, I think that's kind of the point, really. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Well, I will admire the fact that he was smart enough to figure out that we were suspicious. I will not give him the point that he thinks we're the ones who did it. Well, it's... To be honest, from his point of view, I can completely understand that. Yeah. I mean, we're not, about throwing but... people in. If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. Click. All this talk about someone throwing people in here... Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Hmm... Well... I wouldn't say accidentally, because how often do you brush against a TV? Well, it's... And on top... Accidentally, on top of that, you have to help them in. It's yeah. not something that just anybody can do. Because, I mean, Yosuke and Chie couldn't do it right off the bat. Yeah. So... I have to say that somebody did throw them in. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Because there's no way you could enter the TV world without having somebody else doing it for you. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? I have to throw this out here, but for a high school kid, he's pretty smart. Yeah. If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? Anyways? <laughs> It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Crap, wait, how did we get out last time? Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, oh, we okay. were, uh, we were kinda hoping you'd do that again. Yeah, just in case, yeah, you whatever. Know. Yeah, whatever. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. Li oh. Doe. What?! Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we don't need you. We got a lifeline. Hey, you gonna let us out later? <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Thanks a lot, main character. Do you have you proof? Show up and start murdering prove people? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Prove to me we are. Well, I don't want to tell him to shut up, because yeah. he does have points. The first one is a little angrier, too, and I don't really want to doesn't exactly feed work the that argument. Way. See? So it is, you guys! Oh, crap. I take the fifth. See, it <laughs> is, you guys. Crap! Can't win this battle. The last time, it's not us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? 
I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. Huh? Hmm. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Shadows? Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here? Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back, it's dangerous when that happens! Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it! You better stop, right now! We didn't do it, we've been saying that the whole time. Yeah. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it! I want to know who did do it. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Got big enough ears. I'm just saying, you might be the culprits. I appreciate your detective work, but... I'm just making sure. Oh, that was easy. Get angry at him and he doesn't push nuts. the issue any further. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Anyways? Is something being filmed here? Hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Oh wait, I found the logo. Fox News Network. I knew it! <laughs> uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. I don't even think he knows what filming is. Nope. Didn't run that by me again. Let's see. I'd ask, what do you mean? Hmm. Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before! We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. He does look suspiciously mascot-like. Yeah. Maybe you're the real culprit. Dun-dun-dun. 